For one year, I traveled around South America to create my best time-lapse video yet. This is how it went down. We found this really awesome waterhole, I guess. Um, and uh, the sunrise is going to be right above these mountains, trying to get a good reflection here in the, um, in the water. And uh, I just set up a very simple time lapse here with the four, four second interval. So I found a, a cool spot here uh, along the road and uh, there are finally some clouds here in Atacama. That's the first time since I came here. So that's good for time lapse. So I'm gonna set up this slider setup really quickly and then start shooting. Seven second interval or so. It's gonna run for 45 minutes. That's gonna give me um, 15 seconds of video sliding along this 1.6 meter slider. And is it hot, you ask? I can confirm, yes, it's hot. I'm spending most of my time here in Atacama around the area of San Pedro. Now I wanna go a bit further. I'm heading to a place called Salada de Tara, which is much more remote. It's far away from San Pedro. It's close to the Bolivian border actually, and at very high altitude, 4,200 meters. I think it's gonna be Obviously a lot less tourists there, and I think it will be a perfect place for time lapse. It's a little bit more remote and it's kind of easier to, to walk around. So I'm looking forward to that. These rock formations, these are amazing. So I just had one of the most horrible nights of my life. It, it was, it was really bad. It, I, I parked my car uh, last evening. I put up my tent and everything was fine. It was a little bit windy, but not that bad. I cooked some food and then I went to bed. Um, and suddenly it, it just started, the wind started to go crazy, so I waited a bit, but I was just too afraid that the tent was gonna break down, so so I just packed it together, and then uh, I went to sleep here instead. I was like sleeping like, like this, um, and I started to get sick because of the altitude. You know, I'm at 4,200, 300 meters here, so, um, and I threw up a bit, and um, I was like really considering uh, going back uh, during the night, but um, I'm still here. I'm feeling a little bit better. My head is still aching quite a bit. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit further today and then maybe 
if I don't get better, I'll, I'll go back down. Yeah, I lost a bit of motivation now. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to go back to San Pedro. But the landscape here is incredible, so I, I feel like I, I should stay here a little bit longer, so. Yeah. So I just found the lake here with a bunch of flamingos, which I think is really cool. One of the coolest animals, coolest birds. Um, they obviously don't do very well for time lapsing because they would be sort of running around really, really quickly. But it's a good place to to take some video. I'm running a bit out of breath there because ah, 4,200 meters is pretty high. I'm not sure if I'm 100% acclimatized, but my head is hurting quite a bit, but not too bad. It's very windy right now and the tent is shaking quite a lot. Um, so I'm a bit uncertain if I can stay here. If it stays like this, I think we'll be fine. But if it's get any worse, I think I have to move because I don't want this tent to like rip apart. Um, so I'm just going to wait. Now it's so windy that it's a bit difficult to do time lapses as well. Um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see how the weather changes. There's a huge pack of alpacas or llamas, I can't really see properly on the distance, coming this way. And it's coming with what I guess is the farmers, the owners of the, the animals. One is driving and one is walking uh, behind and it's really cool. So I'm walking a bit around, trying to find a nice composition here. It's a bit windy, but I think we will be all right. I'm setting up a static time lapse, um, just to be sure. Um, I'm struggling to find a cool composition that will have the sunset in the background. My best composition is probably this one, but the sunset is over there, so. That was probably the most amazing sunset I've ever seen. It lasted forever. Finally, after a few bad days, I feel like I have some luck and it really helps on my mood, which has been a little bit down, not, not that much, but a little bit down for the past few days. The sunset was so strong that it filled the whole sky and I was not even aiming my cameras at the sunset itself, but 90 degrees to the sides uh, to get a nice subject and um, it still looked amazing and I'm just looking forward to the sunrise tomorrow. Camera 
is rolling. It's on the Serpgini and the Serpgini Mini for a nice tracking padding motion. And it's just a fantastic morning. It's very quiet and there are no people around and I'm all alone and I love it. After some amazing days in Atacama, it was time to move on and explore a different part of Chile. In the next episode, I discovered the amazing landscapes of Patagonia and the weather that comes with it.